and yeah. you, you know, may need to reevaluate that. But the thing as far as like growing your relationship with God too, when you have, when you pray to God and you're asking him for things, just be aware of what it is that you're asking him oh, to do. So if you, you if for. you are giving a prayer of God, please increase my faith. Okay. Um, he's going to test you. All that right. does not mean he's going to rain a Bible down from the sky onto your head. That means that you're probably going to have to go through some trials and tribulations because you're if not, to. then you're not, he's going to, when we go through trials and tribulations, we're not, we, it leaves you with no choice but to rely upon yeah. God. And that's what it was. If everything was just roses and rainbows all the time. You know, when we're in those hard situations, you know, you calling out, God, Jesus, please, <laughs> if you get me out of this, I'll never do it again. Why is this uh, happening to me? And then when everything's going great, sometimes we just forget, oh, yeah. you know, God and take him for granted that everything's going great. Or we think it's just because we're the greatest person on the earth and we did all this by ourselves. But that's not true. Yeah. So when you're telling those prayers and sending them up to God, hmm. just realize what it is that you're asking for and what it may entail. If you want your faith to increase, um, it's highly likely that... God's gonna oh, be he's like, gonna okay, he's gonna all answer. right. This is a thing. And I will increase your faith by sending you through this test. This is a thing. When you pray something like that, he's gonna answer it, but he's not gonna do it the way that you expect. His ways exactly. are not our ways. He's gonna answer your prayer. He's gonna give you more strength. He's gonna increase your faith, faith but he's gonna do it his way. Exactly. So when you pray something like that, Yes, expect and believe that he's going to do it. But at the same time, you have to surrender to his will and his way. Right. You can't, like you was talking yeah. about having, feeling like you have to have control and, you know, plan everything out and figure out how everything is going to be. You can't pray to God and then go to your planner and be like, okay, this is when God is going to do X, Y, Z. <laughs> and this is how he's going to do it. I had to learn that no, too. No, you can't do yeah. that. You got to sit back I... and definitely had them because I thought that I'm just like all right Lord like you say we're gonna do this well all right we're gonna do it by the end of this month and if we exactly. don't do it by the end of this month exactly. <laughs> then it wasn't meant to happen exactly so <laughs> yes just 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 beware be careful acknowledge what you're actually praying for because like I said his ways are not our ways but at the same time his way is always better exactly. so for your 2019 what are you expecting or praying for or preparing for well, I don't know about y'all, but my 2019 about to be lit. Okay, 2019 is on another level. <laughs> I can't wait. I mean, because, you know, the beginning of the year is constantly reminding you of all the things that you may not be thinking about year round. Like the fact that you were even able to open your eyes to see a new year. Things like that. Mm -hmm. So now I feel like everyone is riding high right now. You know, everyone got the gym memberships health kicks, um, so on and so forth. Everyone's yeah. riding high right now. But, mm -hmm. you know, after a little bit, people start to dwindle off. Dwindle off. So mm -hmm. we're, you know, we're at that point right now in the year where we're riding high. But my uh, resolution is basically to get out of that, like, time period of, like, all the hype. Like, with my goals, my... Yes, my goal is to keep up with the goals that I have. And what I'm really trying to acquire now which is really like a complete lifelong journey so I'm not saying this is about to happen in a year um, because I'm no divine being about to you know just figure out all the keys to life in a year but basically yeah. just to in make my entire life more balanced so sometimes when we get our resolutions we're like okay I'm gonna lose 25 pounds mm -hmm. but then you don't even like so into like your emotional health or your yeah. spiritual health. It's just like one focus it all ties in one in. area, but it all ties in together. So I'm taking more of a holistic approach, trying to improve all aspects of my health, my physical health, my mental yeah. health, my spiritual health, emotional health, my relationships with the people in my life. That is what, uh, that is my motive. And of course my driving force outside of, you know, just being alive and, wanting to do and be the best person that I can be is I got engaged as you know I don't know if you know but I got engaged <laughs> okay, <stop. laughs> in 2018 but that oh has gosh. just been even That's more of a, a chapter more of a motivating push of course because I was blessed you know to see my parents marriage and you know be up close and personal with that and a benefit to that is that I've you know seen the inner workings of 
marriages and I, it makes me realize how much work they actually it's continual work that you have to put in it's not like something in the beginning and then that just sustains you through life like you have to continue to put in work on both parties on both parties. on both parties exactly. there should be an equal amount of work exactly and prior to even going down the aisle it's important that you guys begin to like work through any issues that you're having in your relationship so you can both be you know at a good place of health as I was saying physically mentally emotionally before you're even going into the union because you don't want to take old stuff throw it in to your marriage and like okay now we're married let's sit down and work through all of our life exactly. issues like like, <laughs> exactly it's, we had a wedding it's not and I feel mm -hmm. like a lot of people too as far as marriage they don't it's continuous work it's not and just because you're married to someone we're all human beings right. everyone's going to get on each other's nerves at some point or another but it's continuous work the and point of any relationship is growth you want to grow with that person it's, and 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 whether that's working on your problems whether that's in your career whether right. that's spiritual you want you and your mate to grow together like in all areas of life that's the whole point of exactly. being in a relationship and when you're growing growth. together that allows if you're growing together and you're both heading in the same direction then you don't have to worry about hmm I wonder if this person is going to give as much to this as I am yeah. if you're on the same page yeah, yeah, then you know else. even regardless of good or bad times that person is still going to be willing to work through it yeah. with you so sure that's where we're at right now and mm -hmm. you know just working yeah all right I know for me my 2019 I'm just expecting um prosperity and peace yes and um, just continue to grow because I feel like God had prepared, he prepared me and he's taught me a lot in 2018. I don't know what he's going to do. That's a part of that control thing. I've just given everything to him. But I know he didn't make me grow so much and so fast in 2018, you know, for nothing. I don't know what he has in store, but I'm just really expecting growth and prosperity for my 2019 yeah there's definitely great great things in store and i can even say as, i'm excited you know someone looking in on your behalf you have grown so much and i'm extremely proud of you mm, and you. you're absolutely amazing i'm so excited what I'm god excited. is doing in your life because it's really it's about to go down like it's really like 2019 <laughs> it's just from here yeah. forward oh yeah like, yeah yeah like i feel it's like just my own personal hell kind of happened in 2017 2018 so i feel like the worst that could have happened for me it's happened so i can only go up from here so that's what i mean right. when i say prosperity because yes. it's just like i can literally i can only go up from here like my relationship with god is tight it's like this we cool we good and i know with him listen it's just it has no choice but to be lit all things so, are possible yes i'm excited I'm excited for 2019, 2019 and beyond. So, um, <laughs> I hope this encouraged you guys. Maybe, please, reflect on your 2018. Reflect on what you right. learned and, you know, don't let life just continue to happen to you. Like, look back at what you've been through and be like, you know what? I'm stronger for that, from that. You know what? Like, I learned this. I learned that. You know, I, I you know, created a piece for myself and had to remove some people or gain some new friends. Like, reflect on your 2018. Don't just go into 2019 and just like, oh, another year, oh, another day. Like, look back and see what you learned and apply that to 2019. Right. And keyword your yeah. 2018 yeah. that you just had not anyone else's don't compare your journey to anyone else's don't feel like god done forgot about you because this happened to you and that didn't happen to that person yeah yeah it's everyone's journey is different, different. Yeah. reflect on your own journey focus on your own journey and bettering yourself so then you know surround your self with people who are also trying to better yeah. themselves as yes, well that's yes, important yes, yes, you got to protect yes, your energy yes, yes that's another protect thing yeah that energy I'm on. yeah and i'm protecting my peace and i just i listen we're gonna end this here but i've just been cutting people off because i'm just like if you are disrupting my peace i'm sorry bye love you bye bye that's so. just in all aspects too yeah for real i mean whatever you have to do to maintain your peace that's just what i gotta do so all right, love. Thank you for tuning in. We will be 
I'm recording and posting more videos here soon. Just that end of 2018 kind of smacked me yeah. in the face. So, um, hey, we'll be posting more content um, here so soon. So just be expecting. I'm excited. <laughs> like I said, prosperity all year round. Like, you're going to see our beautiful faces. Yes, there are. Our big, natural faces. Big. We didn't have. Oh, we also need to listen. shout that out. Wait a minute Woo. now. Let me flip the braids back. No makeup. Look at our natural highlight, though. Um, I don't have makeup. Okay. See now, <laughs> wait a minute. Right, exactly that profile. I admit it. Yes. Now. Okay. But next time we'll probably be. Yes. So this is a expected. no makeup look. That mm -hmm. means zero. That means we washed our face and moisturized it. <laughs> exactly. I didn't even put chapstick on. Mm. Mm. Put that's lip. how. That's how natural I. <laughs> I had to put lip gloss on. Okay. This is literally my natural lip. I have no Enjoy. chapstick on. Yes, no, they're lips. so chapped. No, my I, lips are chapped. That's I, why I had to put on some lip gloss. chapped this whole time. <laughs> Like, man, this is really natural. I can't stand you. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. okay, but I love it. <laughs> All right, y'all. Thank you for tuning in. Have a blessed 2019. Until next time. Bye. See ya.